I went through hell and back treating my body wrong, but these last six months, man, I feel amazing. I just re refocused myself, rededicated myself, and uh, I'm actually doing this one for me, man. You know? Boxing saved my life, man, so I'm doing this one for me, man. I can't wait. How much are you enjoying this? Because I, I see videos of you, I'm watching you in the uh, you know in the ring right now, and I see this I'm level little, of focus. I'm a little heavy right now, but I'm gonna come in. The weight, the weight is, is the weight, it's 185, you know? But I'm gonna come in like at 75, strong as strong like an ox, man. Like yeah. ox, you know? What do you think the I'm difference? I'm at 80 right now, so. You're at 180, so you wanna drop five pounds between now and the next couple weeks. Yeah, what do you feel is going to be the key to victory against Vitor Belfort? Because for those that don't know, the odds makers, they have you as the underdog coming into the fight. What's the key to victory? Well, I'll tell you why they have me the underdog. Because they don't believe in me, you know? I mean, all the, all, the crap, all the crap that I put my body through, all the shit that's going on, you know? It's like, I finally, I finally un, un, underailed, is that a word? I put the train back in the rails, you know? And, uh, and you know, back on the tracks. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I feel good, man. I feel good. You know what? Um, I'm not a betting man. I'm not a gambler, but I would put a lot of money on me because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna surprise a few people of, of how, of how I do it. You know, of how I do it. That's that's the key. And I've been training smart. I've been training smart, man. I, I've always been the one to wake up early, to go to sleep early. Um, this is no different, man. I've been motivated for the last five months already. I've had a couple of hiccups here and there, but I've been, I've been, uh, I've been just focused, man. Focused. How much does it mean for you to be making your return in front of your public, Staples Center? There's a statue outside of this building for you, and on September 11th, you're going to be making that ring walk yet again with all these fans who supported you from day one. All I can do is, uh, all I can do is uh, give them a war, man. That's it. I've been, I've been studying, I've been studying, uh, I've been studying uh, Thomas Hearns versus Marvin, this Marvin Hagler for, for a while, and I've been doing it for a reason. I want a war. I, I want to fight. I want to fight, man. I want to fight. I have a good chin, you know. I mean, Hawkins would say I have a bad liver, but I, I have a good chin, man, and I can take the punch. And yeah, this game is not about getting hit, but. You know, sometimes you gotta give the fans a fun fight, man. You went ahead a couple weeks ago, we had the press conference between you and Vitor. You guys faced off, there was obviously a massive size difference, but what did you take away from that press conference as you prepare for your showdown against the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world? I just I just know he's got the same mentality. You know, he's uh, he, was a, he was a boxer first, uh, then became the heavyweight UFC champ for a reason, so the fact that he was a boxer before, he knows what he's doing, so I gotta be careful, I gotta, I gotta calculate my punches in bunches, but uh, obviously don't stay in front of his, uh, his powerful uh, left hand, uh, but hey, I got some moves up my sleeve, so we'll see. So September 11, how's it going down? You and Vitor Belfort, Staples Center, Los Angeles. There will be a knockout, there will be a knockout. I, I, I can see that. I can see that there, there will be a knockout. I mean, it's funny because my inspirations back then, when I was fighting, were like Alexis Arguello and Aaron Pryor and guys who can fight, move, da da. But my my inspiration actually for this fight is Arturo Gatti, and the fact that I've been studying Hagler Hearns like in my head, I want that type of fight. I miss getting hit, man. You I want a throwback fight. fight? I do, man. I do. I, I want one of my fights, uh, the classic ones, like with Icorte and, and, and uh, Sugar Shane that we had here at the Staples Center. Unbelievable fight. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, hey, let's do it. We're going to fight. Might as well fight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Golden Boy.